Hi, let us learn how to create this effect in PowerPoint. As you can see, the picture is in black and white. On a click, we have one part of the picture shown in color. Once you learn how to create this, then you will be able to create the reverse effect as well. As you can see, we have a colored picture. On a click, only a part of the picture is in black and white. You can take this to even the next level where you show a blurred picture. Then on a click, only one part of the picture comes into focus with the title. And once you give your explanation, you can shift the focus to another part of the picture. So let us learn how to create this useful and practical effect from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. I inserted this picture from PowerPoint. Now the first step is to convert this into a full page picture. So let us select this, go to picture format, crop, aspect ratio and 16 is to 9. Then move the focus so we are able to have the full view of the children then click outside, then move the photo in such a way that it corresponds with the top left corner of the slide, then click and drag from the corner so it occupies the full slide. The next step is to draw the viewer's attention to only just this girl. Now how do we do that? It's very simple. Let us right click and duplicate the slide, then select the photo, go to picture format, go to remove background. You can see that we have a portion of the picture covered in pink. This will be considered as part of the background by PowerPoint. Now we need to make adjustments in such a way that we select this to show and the rest needs to be converted into background. So how do we do that? It's very simple. Let us go to mark areas to remove and then remove the portions that are not required to be part of the scenery. Now in this case, I am pretty much selecting everything and as you can see, as I keep changing my selection, the one in focus keeps changing as well. So you need to play around with it a little bit. I don't want this portion also. So I'm just clicking and dragging. And as I keep doing this, I will have only this portion shown. And in this, there are certain areas that need to be kept. So let us go to mark areas to keep and then let us click and drag here. You can see that this portion is reclaimed. This portion is reclaimed and maybe a part of the hair can also be reclaimed and somewhere over here as well. And I need to remove a po portion of that. So let us go to mark areas to remove and do some small minor adjustments just to ensure that we have everything required selected and the ones that are not required removed from the view. Now this seems more or less what we want. Then let us click outside and you can see that this portion is in focus. Next, let us go to the original picture select the picture, go to picture format, color and go to saturation and make it saturation 0%. Then let us go here, select this picture, press Ctrl X to cut it and then paste it right on top of the previous one. Now select this and ensure that they are all properly aligned. For that, let me go to align middle and then align center. Now both the photos are perfectly aligned. Now I'm going to select this and then go to animations and introduce it with a simple fade in animation. So when I go to slideshow, you can see we have a black and white picture. Then on a click, only one part of the picture is shown in color. Now you can follow the exact same process to shift the focus to the other children as well. Now let me show you how I achieved the blurred effect. It's again very simple. Let us select this picture, press Ctrl X to cut it and then go to this original picture, which is in black and white, go to picture format, go to artistic effects and apply the blurred effect here. So when you show the slide first, audience will only be seeing a vague idea of the picture. Then let us press control V and let us do the same thing as we did before, align center, align middle. So everything is properly aligned and you can see that there is this animation already there. Now, when I go to slideshow, you can see that this is what the audience sees, a blurred image. Then on a click, only one part of the picture is brought to focus. Now, how do we add the caption? It's very simple again. Let's go to home, go to the rectangle tool and let us draw a rectangle 
and let us call the child Megan and let us go to home and let us use a bigger font to send empty contents to extra bold and I'm going to use for shape fill one of the colors right within the photo so let us choose this dark color go to shape outline no outline and then let us place this rectangle in such a way that it is right on top of the image then let us select this picture bring it to front so it covers a portion of this title then let us select the title by clicking and dragging across then go to animations and we are going to introduce this using a peek in effect so let us go here to more entrance effects peek in and say ok and change the direction from right and this needs to happen after previous so when I go to slideshow the blurred vision is shown first then on a click the attention is brought in and then the title is shown like this now how do we show the reverse effect where everything is in color and only this image is in black and white of course it's very simple again let us duplicate this slide let us go back to our original image let us just cut this go back to the original image then go to picture format then go to reset picture now reset picture ensures that all the original characteristics of the picture are brought back then let us press ctrl v to bring back the image that we had cut earlier align center align middle and this picture needs to be in black and white so go to picture format go to color and let us have this in saturation 0% and let us move this up and then let us go to slideshow this is the colored picture then on a click only this girl is in black and white and we have the title shown pretty nicely so once you learn the base technique you can improvise it the way you want to achieve the exact effect you are looking for. Now if you like this tutorial then you will really love this other tutorial that we have created for you called create a video poster in PowerPoint. You can see that you can move the picture around and the title and the video would still play when you go in the slideshow mode. It is a very interesting effect and you can learn how to do it in a matter of 4 minutes and it will definitely impress your audience. So go ahead, click on the link that you see right now on your screen. Go to that video, learn the effect and impress your colleagues and bosses and be seen as a PowerPoint genius in your organization. I'll see you inside that video.